All right, guys, this is supposed to be a simple three-day job clearing for a house pad, five or six logging truck loads. But as we veer to the right, you will discover later on in this video that there might actually be a view out that way. Let's see if it came to that. I don't know what's wrong with that one, but that one was fine. It was on the trailer. That's old tire. And then this one. That thing was weird. All right, guys, we're on this clearing job. The guys built several houses here, but we're making a view. That's the main thing. We cleared for the house pad, and we've been clearing for the view for like the last week or so. But it rained just a little bit the other night, and where the Prime Tech's at down there, that's actually a pretty good road right there. If that road wasn't here, this job would be very difficult. But we don't bring a skidder out here because a self-loading logging truck in the arsenal. But down there I'll show you got a little S curve with a gate in the way and it was very soft the other day so the log truck came back up it and pull this thing up the hill so he can get a load on a truck and I mean we got logs way down there that's where he's headed go put those hubs and gear on the front axle and we'll go right up this Jane will figure it out Go, go. You should have just let you pull them over here. Yeah. Keep going, keep going, you're catching. Oh, oh, there it is. He's on gravel now. Rug stinks. Well, yeah. Well, we'll see how this unfolds. Typically, Cal Fire, the one that, uh, I mean, they come in after the job and verify that we did our part and not left a trash mess and, you know, make sure we leave it organized. They just showed up. Normally, they don't show up till we're done, but this is a weird situation here because there's a flume down there for water and we're not supposed to be X amount of feet from it, but we got permission to go with whatever we need to. Um, not sure why he showed up, but hopefully while he's down there, he'll grease the 080 because it needs grease today. Um, I'm aiming for that, but anyway, he just inspects the job after we're finished. So the fact that he showed up halfway through, it's kind of weird. So we'll see if this gets uh, even more weird, but he's got a decent hike out of there. I don't know what it is, but every time somebody asks when they come up to a job site, somebody authority or just somebody passing by asking questions about job site and trying to get maybe some work done on their property they always go well who are you guys working for technically in this case we're working for the property owner I'm like oh who's your company who owns it we all own it but it's funny when people ask oh, who you work for because there's so many tree companies out there and the owners never are out there so it's we're always out here we're out here but that guy walked up the hill. Well, now that the landowner, property builder, contractor guy's here, he can talk to him. Grapples in the way. 
you guys didn't know Hoss down there, he's been falling timber pretty much since uh, well, before he could walk. And he just quoted the rule book saying that you're not allowed to go into a faller strip without some form of verbal permission from the faller or visual. And so that old boy just came walking in. Sure, we had a lunch break, but he broke his own rules. No hard hat, and they wanted to give us a violation for not having the uh, physical copy of the permit. I have it on my phone, and uh, yeah, but the property owner showed up and he had one in his truck. Just come out, give a hard time. Hard time, no hard hat. Oh well, he let us. He let us free today. So he says. Be like a regular logging truck load there boy this is at least that he's probably close to 100,000 pounds yeah good little load yeah barely made it so he's our our big time skitter so we can follow those big trees down there. Oh, let's see if you can see through there. Fill another tree. Block the view of the video. All right. Andy went ahead and unloaded that load and a half worth. Put his trailer back on. Let's see. Good here to see. Put his trailer back on so it's easier to back down there. Grab hopefully another load and a half. Clear up that spot in case we got a chance tomorrow. We can fall those two last trees right across the log deck. Yeah, the girl but the oak. Might be able to shimmy some of that stuff out of the way now. Can't see him. If you look out to the right in the distance, you'll see the snow-capped mountains. That is where we're aiming to make a view of. Also on the right side, you see the nice green forest. You see on the left side, dead looking forest. That is the aftermath on the left side of a forest fire. All said and done in the wake of a nearby forest fire, clearing a small percentage of property here to not only make a view, but also make the neighborhood a little bit more fire safe. We still get a bad time from the inspectors trying to verify each and every little permit when if you look right out side the window there on what is the remains of a quote-unquote managed forest the irony of that is thick as we approach the last couple trees of this job every permit that we filed in order to clear for the house clear for the view we are almost there, but there's a few left in the way. But we filed certain exemptions so it allows us to cut next to the power lines and next to the flume. It acts as a utilities right away because the short end of it is power lines meet trees in the middle of summer and spark forest fires. A lot of the fires in the last couple of years have been a result of such faults. As a company, we like to keep our ducks in a row. If we got to file permits for the job, we file the permits and get it done and move on with the job. Sometimes it's a really simple permit, but then other times you got to jump through a couple extra hoops. I understand they're trying to keep the forest thick and healthy, but without saying that, a thick and healthy forest isn't really the best thing because sparks will fly, forests will burn. And if they cared about keeping the forest true, they would manage them a little better. And for the people that are actually trying to make something of the forest and manage them, thinnings, clearings, it all helps. Either 
log it or watch it burn. Arches down to the last two trees as it's raining. Well, I guess there's four, but we're hoping to get both of the big ones down today. I didn't hear you. Well, that'll open up the view a little bit right there. Oh, I guess when it's raining, the trees fall slower because that, that took about 15 minutes. It's kind of impressive that it can actually move the 33 as slick as it is. Oh, I gotta start talking, then it's gonna start doing a bump to make it. Yeah, get back here, love. One hand fire here. <laughs> That's probably good. We can He can grab it right there. With the help loader. You can get it to where it tips, then you got her. Might sit right there. Yeah, I think it'll sit. You gotta sit on that one end though. Well, bottom line, we got the four of the last four trees, theoretically for the view, down and skidded. Just got to deal with the brush, but all the gear loaded up, rained out. Move it. Oh, check that out. Quarter inch rain. A little bit of moisture in the air. It's causing a river. Stick around and see if it bunches those garbage cans up down the street. Well, last week we got completely rained out. Didn't even get to finish the day. And that was 
Uh, See, that was right at a week ago. Literally seven days ago. And check this out. There's a spot here. Back of guy dug out the sumps, ground a couple of them up for him, and he buried the rest, but I just kicked some dust a second ago. First of all, check out vbeltsun.com and get a hat. But secondly, I'm trying to save myself from the comments that I know I'll get of why don't you just put some stone down? Well, they did. And it's turned out pretty freaking nice. Logging truck already went up through this once and there was no fabric put down underneath it. Went right up there, no problem. Log truck backs in. Look at that. So you can't have nothing nice. Check this out. Dang. That back old man. Responsibility. Yeah. That might hurt some steering components. Yeah. That tree up there um ended up cutting them in 17s so we can move them and had to use the winch on that and the 080 to get the butt up here well i'm gonna say it's right around four feet on the stump pretty close to it anyway look at that how much dirt i'll have to go back through that and fill that in because that's a big erosion issue turn it into a river right there and just take the slope with it but yeah that thing's at least four feet get you a better view so what we're doing now is we've knocked out the view. We're done with that. Cleaned up all the mess. Cleaned up the power company's mess. And I do not believe they issued a citation for not having the piece of paper with us, with us. Had it on my phone, but he said that wasn't good enough. So the Cal Fire inspector is going to come out next week because he was worried that we were taking too much of the canopy. Job hopefully will be done. That'll open up for a view out that way. So Cal Fire should be happy with that. We filed an extra permit for uh, utility right away because power lines are right there. So we can thin a couple out of there. Uh, Forester already came out and marked trees. So we're gonna take a couple of easier ones and see if we can just get a filtered view through those trees out to that mountain range. Well, glad to see this job done. 
takes 1,600 permits, working every angle to make it happen. Climber came today and topped those trees, made the view even more awesome. Now, hopefully Andy can come in and get all the logs that are laying everywhere. <laughs>